this cork, you can actually use it to cork wine. So if you got wine bottles or Twisted Sisters wine, which you should be drinking, <laughs> you can take this and you can use it to recork your bottles. My name is Jason Rogel, and my company, one of my companies, is Guidance Whiskey. Um, we are a premium small batch whiskey that is distilled in Iowa. We've been in the market for about two years, but we've been working on it for about four. Before you even get to the bottle, before you even get to the actual thing that you're holding, there was a year of going back and forth with the distillery, trying to come up with the right, you know, the right formula, the right taste that we wanted. There's trying to find a label, there's trying to decide on a bottle. So it's a birthing process. And you have no idea how it's gonna, how it's gonna come out. When you put something in a barrel, it's in a barrel. You <laughs> say it's in there until you pour it out, to you, and then, then you actually see what you get. So I say it's like children because then once it gets here, you got to nurture it, you got to help it grow, you got to teach it, you got to learn more, you got to learn on the job as a parent. And with this industry, I've learned more in the last two years about my own product than in the two years that we were creating it. So it, it, it's always a growing process. And if you come into it like that, it'll help, it'll help you, that mindset will help you absorb some of those bumps and bruises as learning experiences instead of just getting you down like, hey, I don't ever want to do this again. Growing up in Alabama, we, we've been drinking a, a long time, but having my own whiskey, I was a uh, director of marketing for a healthcare facility out in California. And the budget that we spent a year on entertainment was through the roof. The, what we spent on just alcohol, was even more outstanding. So I'm like, hey, wait a minute. We hosting all these events. We spent $150,000 on liquor a year for one practice? Oh, come on. That's, that's, that's the entrepreneur in me that said, there's gotta be a way to, to, get, it, to get some of this uh, revenue, rev share. The main, main thing is you looking at my savings account. <laughs> that's the that's the number one thing we put the money up like we put our own bread that's that's the number one we took a chance on us and we we bet on this and that anybody can come along after you've already done something and and take it to another level which is a great thing but you have different pride when you see it come come from the ground so i think the number one thing that we did is we put up all the money ourselves for the process Twisted Sisters is a, is a wine that's created by four ladies um, currently living in Nashville. Unfortunately, one of them passed away last year, but they created, I mean, their first, their first offering that launches in December is gonna be a barreled aged blend red, which is, you ain't never seen that before. So the innovation that comes out of people when they get a chance to do something they never done before, is amazing, that's the culture, right? So you got Twisted Sisters wine, you have Canopa Fiore, well, Fiore Vodka, which is coming, that's from a young man named Clarence, who's originally from um, Tennessee as well. But his vodka's coming, we got uh, Reverence Bourbon, that'll be one of your first Tennessee bourbons that's coming from one of my frat brothers. <laughs> and uh, we're working with some guys out of Texas. We, we have about seven other things that are in in the hopper right now, but 2021 is gonna be, it's, it's gonna explode. <laughs> it is TSU all coming in a bottle, man. Like when you crack this bottle, we were to crack this bottle right now, the conversation would go, it would go back to college, it would go back to high school, everybody in the room would start joining in. And I guarantee you in an hour, this bottle will be gone. 
And that's what that's what our flavor is, the flavor of friendship, it's the flavor of camaraderie, it's the flavor of stories. And it just I mean it tastes it tastes it tastes like like history in the making actually. You know what I mean? We get so many people that I love being around them when they taste it for the first time because they think they know whiskey. Or they ha or they do know whiskey, right? They know what they've had, they know what they've been told, and so they have an expectation. And the first time that they take that little they be waiting for the burn. They wait for it, right? Because you know it's coming. That's whiskey. And then it don't come. And you see their face go. And they look like, this, this you? This you right here? Oh, man. And, and they, then they get excited about it. And so that's that's one of my favorite, favorite parts about my guidance. So guidance is 50 bucks in the store, right? It's 50 bucks in the store. We want people to get a chance to experience it in all kinds of ways. So you might not go out and just, like, if you don't know something, you might be like, eh, I don't wanna spend $50, that's a, that's a stretch. And in the pandemic, we couldn't do as many tastings. We love doing tastings. We, when they opened up, we were doing, we did 27 tastings in the last 45 days when Tennessee opened up, because we were like, hey, if we can get you to taste it, the quality is in the product and it speak for itself. But if I can't get you to taste it that way, well, I know you got to eat, right? I know you like desserts. I know we try to infuse ourselves into everyone's life. We come at you some type of way. So if you, a chicken and waffle, guess what? There's places you go in the waffle, they don't pour the guidance in the batter that makes the waffles. Oh, you 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 like fruit, and you okay? We gonna make some guidance sauce for your fruit that you can drink. We got guidance lollipops. I mean, you you think about it, we touch it, but then also that gives us a chance to show love to the businesses that are showing love to us. Because if you go on our page, we you see just as much about other businesses as you see guidance, and that was something that in marketing they told me not to do. The same way they told me not to make a two-year whiskey and make it 80 proof. I needed to be six years. I needed to be 100 proof. I needed to be, I needed to be, I needed to be, I needed to be. I needed to be us. And so we're going to continue to collaborate. You talk, you were laughing earlier, like, you ain't got God in shoes. As we talk right now, there's a lady <laughs> that has a shoe, co a shoe company, and she's creating a guidance logo on, on a pair of shoes. We don't stop. Um, so yeah, our, our guidance cigars, which actually just launched this weekend, is one of those collaboration projects, man. Um, Southern Gentleman Cigar Company had approached me earlier in the year, and they had just been introduced to guidance, and they do a lot of blends for the big houses. You know, they do, um, they do blends, they do Buffalo Trace, they make their um, infused cigars and they wanted to try a new technique for guidance and so I gave them a bottle of guidance and forgot about it four months later <laughs> Stu comes up to me and says here go your cigar now I was a once a quarter had you know cigar smoker I wasn't I wasn't a avid cigar smoker but it was so good it was so good that I was like, man, y'all got something. I said, so how do we mass produce these? He said, well, you gotta ship us some of your barrels. So we shipped them some of our some of our guidance barrels and they, this inaugural run, I think they're doing 2,000 2, 2, sticks. Mm -hmm. um, we polled about 40 different cigar smokers, uh, owners of cigar lounges, and just people who've been in the cigar business for a long time because one thing when you're doing business man there's one thing about being innovative but then there's also the business side so with guidance and anything that we put out we put out stuff that'll sell it has to sell because if it sells then we can continue to put out more stuff now we want to get to the space where you know five ten years from now we just put something out for the fun of it but even then when we were looking to create this the one thing that we went for was drinkability right because if you don't you cut yourself off of a market 
So even in our sticks, we got three different blends. We got a barber pole, we got a Habano, and we got a Churchill. Those are three different types, three, three, three different types of sticks, three different types of flavor profile. So we touch everybody. And so, yeah, these are, these are amazing. They actually come in these tubes, which actually helps hold in the flavor. But then even better than that, a lot of people don't have humidors. You see what I'm saying? I didn't grow up having a humidor. And if you don't put it back in the tube, if you don't have somewhere to put your stick, even if you wait a long time to smoke it, because you're like, I'm going to celebrate this guy. I'm, I'm getting a job promotion in two weeks or three months or whatever you can save. Or my baby gonna be born, you know, I'm having a baby in, in four months. I thought about everything, not just for the pros, but also for the novices. So you can actually take this cigar, you can smoke half of it, stick it back in this cap, and, and it'll preserve it. 